हेलो फ्रेंड्स वंस अगेन आई एम श्रीनिवास कम विथ न्यू क्वेश्चन ऑफ सॉलिड स्क्वेर पिरामिड बेस 38 एट एम एम साइड एंड एक्सिस फिफ्टी एम एम लॉन्ग सॉलिड गिवन टू यू इज स्क्वेर पिरामिड बेस इज थर्टी एट एम एम एंड एक्सिस फिफ्टी एम एम लॉन्ग इज फ्रीली सस्पेंडेड फ्रॉम वन ऑफ द कॉर्नर्स इट इज फ्रीली सस्पेंडेड फ्रॉम वन कॉर्नर ऑफ इट्स बेस ड्रॉ इट्स प्रोजेक्शन विन द एक्सिस एज अ वर्टिकल प्लेन मेक्स एन एंगल ऑफ फोर्टी फाइव डिग्री विद द वी पी एक्सिस एज अ वर्टिकल प्लेन मीन्स द प्लेन कंटेनिंग द एक्सिस मेक्स एन एंगल ऑफ फोर्टी फाइव डिग्री विद द वी पी सो फर्स्ट स्टेप इज यू टू ड्रॉ अ रेफरेंस लाइन देन द को हियर इंक्लेशन ऑफ द एक्सिस इज गिवन विथ फोर्टी फाइव डिग्री विथ वी पी एंड इट इज को पिरामिड इज फ्रीली सस्पेंडेड फ्रॉम वन ऑफ द कॉर्नर्स हियर वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट फ्रॉम द टॉप व्यू इन द टॉप व्यू यू टू ड्रॉ अ स्क्वेर इक्वली इंक्लाइन टू द एक्स वाई लाइन इनिशियली यू टू ड्रॉ अ स्क्वेर एज अ रेफरेंस डायग्राम ऑफ थर्टी एट एम एम साइड देन जॉइन द डायगोनल्स बिलो रेफरेंस लाइन यू हैव टू ड्रॉ टू परपेंडिकुलर लाइन्स इंटरसेक्टिंग ईच अदर ऑफ अप्रॉक्सिमेट लेंथ देन टेक हाफ ऑफ द डायगोनल ऑफ दिस स्क्वेर इन यूर कंपॉस दिस पॉइंट इंटरसेक्शन पॉइंट एज अ सेंटर यू हैव टू कट फोर आर्स ऑन दिस लाइन इन दिस वे यू हैव टू ड्रॉ अ स्क्वेर इक्वली इंक्लाइन टू एक्स वाय दिस इज ए बी सी एंड डी पॉइंट एंड अपेक्स ऑफ द पिरामिड इज ओ देन टेक द प्रोजेक्शन इन द अपवर्ड डायरेक्शन हियर नथिंग लाइज इन द एच पी प्लेन हेन्स वी आर गोइंग टू ड्रॉ इट्स फ्रंट व्यू अबाउ रेफरेंस लाइन दिस पॉइंट इज ए डैश This point is B dash, D dash. This is C dash. Axis is given to you 50 mm. So from this point, you have to take vertical distance of 50 mm and mark this point as O dash. Join O dash, A dash. Join O dash, C dash. Join O dash, B dash. Here O dash B dash you have to draw continuous because here two lines are overlapping. The first line is center line that we use to draw for the axis, and second line is the thick continuous line that is a slant edge of that pyramid. So first preference you have to give to the continuous line. Then next step is what? it is freely suspended from one of the corners freely suspended from one of the corners so what you have to do you have to make a little construction here you have to locate the center of gravity of this pyramid in case of pyramid and cone center of gravity lies at a height of 1/4 of the axis center of gravity lying at a distance of 1/4 of the axis from base so your axis height is 80 mm axis height is 80 mm 1/4 of the 80 mm is 20 mm so from base you have to mark 20 mm on the axis that point will be the center of gravity then join one of the corner either a dash or c dash with g dash when you are going to suspend a solid from a corner 
then what will happen the line joining that corner and center of gravity will become perpendicular to the xy so you have to mark here one point we are going to suspend this solid pyramid from c dash so from c this point as a c dash draw a vertical line then take c dash g dash a distance in your compass c dash as a center cut arc here this point is g1 dash this is c1 dash then by taking the distance of each point you have to locate a o and b so initially i am going to take a distance c dash a dash distance in your compass c dash as a center cut arc cut arc here then take g dash a dash a distance in your compass g1 dash as a center cut arc here this point will be a1 dash join c dash a1 dash then we want to locate o dash point so take a dash o dash a distance a dash o dash and c dash o dash will be same so take any one of these distance in your compass c1 dash as a center and a1 dash as a center cut arc here join this this point is o1 dash then you have to draw the axis line this point will be b1 dash d1 dash then take projections in the downward direction this is projector for a this is for b and d then this is for c and g and this is for o then take projection from previous top view this point will be d1 this will be a1 this will be c1 and this will be b1 this point will be o1 then we are going to complete this top view by observing this front view from the top so initially you know that you have to complete the outline with the help of the continuous dark line that is o1 d1 a1 then b1 and o1 when you are observing this pyramid from the top as the apex is away from the observer the base is visible so you have to draw the base lines with the help of the continuous dark line now two lines are remaining one is o1 a1 and second one is o1 c1 when you are going to observe from this o1 c1 is visible so yeah that you have to draw with the help of continuous line and this here you have to draw with the help of dash line during this portion o1 c1 again same two lines are overlapping one is continuous line and second one is dash line you know that preference will be given to continuous line so o1 a1 is dash line but between the portion o1 c1 it is overlap by continuous line so continuous line is visible last step is what the plane containing the axis makes angle of 45 degree so what you have to do we know that inclination with the vp is always always observe in top view in top view you have to draw a line incline at angle of 45 degree you have to redraw this top view here initially you have to mark this point this point is a2 at approximate distance then by taking the distance of each point you have to locate c1 and also locate you have to this point is o2 please bear this is a free hand sketching you have to follow the procedure
this point is the d2 this is c2 and this is b2 same type of line you have to draw here because only what we are doing we are redrawing the diagram this line will be dashed line then take the projections in the upward direction this is for a this point is a2 dash this is for b so by routine practice you have to locate the points of the pyramid or the corners of the base by taking projections from the top view and previous front view then we are completing this front view by observing this top view from the bottom initially you have to draw the outline so c2 dash b2 dash b2 dash a2 dash a2 dash o2 dash and again c2 dash o2 dash as apex is nearer to the observer so base is invisible so you have to draw the base of that pyramid with the help of dash line then d2o is also, as the d corner is invisible the line passing from the or going from that d point will be dash line ob2 is visible so that you have to draw then also you have to take the projection of the axis and here you have to draw the axis line that is center line here in this problem apex is away from apex is away from the x y line or it is nearer to the observer some of the student may draw this apex in the upward direction that is nearer to the x y line or away from the observer as the specific condition is not given but if in the problem it is, it is specifically given that suppose for example it is given in the problem that apex is nearer to the observer then compulsory you have to draw this o point below uh, that is away from the reference line that is nearer to the observer and it is given in the problem that o is away from the observer so compulsory mandatory you have to draw the o point nearer to the x y line but here no condition is given so some of the student may draw this o point away from the x y line or some may draw means you may some of the student may draw this diagram like this this is also correct one okay thank you if you like this don't forget to subscribe my channel.